Hello and welcome to Anime Animosity. And would you look at that? I actually stuck to what I said. A free form, non scripted video. Crazy. Look how hard that was. And just like last time, we're over here on livechart.me. And just like last time, there'll be a link in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. Albeit, you probably won't need to this time, unless you're one of those people that wait for a show to finish before you check it out and you want to have a look at what's just gone by. And oh boy, what a season has just gone by. While it may be just a little bit too soon to say goodbye to winter 2021, look, it's been fantastic. Let's talk about it, shall we? So, season went off with a bang and start. I say a bang and start because it carried on from where the last one ended. Jutsu Kaisen continued, as I said from last season, and we're Got to give credit where credit's due. It won Anime of the Year, albeit Crunchyroll's Anime of the Year, but it won it. Look, it's fantastic. You gotta love JJK, but you don't. If you don't like Shonen, especially Battle Shonen, you look. If it's not your thing, it's not your thing. But if you like JJK, I know there. Are, I believe there are talks of um, a season two, albeit I don't know how true those rumors are, so I won't make much more mention to them here. But if you like what you watched, with one episode to come out in. About an hour, as you can see. Um, read the manga. And I know you're probably sick and tired of being told, Oh, just read the manga! Seriously, JJK is hella worth reading. It's fantastic. We just come off the back of probably one of the best arcs. Um, I was about to say in manga, but I'm not read enough to be able to make a claim like that. But definitely JJK's best arc. Trust me, it's fantastic. I highly highly recommend that if you enjoyed what you saw, pick up the manga, give it a read. It's really worth it. And you can pick up straight from where the anime left off, because it's a fantastic adaptation. I'd say pretty much every panel was adapted, which is fucking crazy. Mappa pushed the boat out for this. And it's not the only thing they pushed the boat out for. As we move on to the second show of the season, Attack on Titan, Shingeki no Kyojin. Y'all heard about it, y'all know. I don't need to say much more. It's a, it's fantastic. It's amazing. With they're calling it the final season, even though it isn't getting close to the end of the manga, since uh, the manga is not finished yet. Hmm. So we'll probably end up with a movie or something in the future, which will fucking slap. Trust me, I'm a manga reader. I'm not going to push you to read the manga for this one, since I know a lot of people are anime only is with uh, Attack on Titan, and honestly. I'd say it's definitely the best way to experience it. This season has been fantastic. They've adapted it beautifully. Shame with what happened with episode 14 with um, the, I believe it was the, the TV studio getting hit with a magnitude 4 earthquake. Tragic. It's very sad. I hope everyone there is fine. But they've managed to get everything out on time. Episode 16 comes out this weekend. I'm sure all of you will watch it. Yeah. Moving on to another amazing show, Mushoku Tensei. I don't really know how to quantify how I feel about this show, because when I first watched it, I didn't really have, well, I didn't watch it immediately. I waited for like seven episodes to come out before I actually picked it up, and I hadn't seen anything about it either until I did, and it blew me away. I won't be talking about it too much here, because I plan to do a much more in-depth video on it in the future. In fact, I've got the script for that in the works right now but yeah fantastic honestly this show blew me away it i had very low expectations for it given that it's an isekai and we all know what that means <laughs> but yeah mushoku tensei is really good it's if you need any incentive to go watch it it's fucking gorgeous it sound pretty i look it directed good okay I won't say much more, like I said, I'll save all that for a later video, but trust me, Mushoku Tensei is really good. Second core coming out later this year, I hope there's more to come after that. Studio Bind, we'll talk about you, as I said in that video, but yeah. Moving on to another Isekai, The Slimy Sky Season 2 Part 1. Hasn't finished yet, last episode airs in a couple of days. So far, with the 11 episodes we've had, Absolutely amazing. Can't wait for the second part. I love this show. I ate it up. It's brilliant. Good stuff. Rimuru's my boy. 
I love where the season's taken it. It's, um, I'd say, a lot less um, bubbly and happy and fun times as season one was. Although season one had its darker elements, but this one has been a lot more, has been a lot grittier, and I've really enjoyed that. And the direction the plot's going, oh, it's looking like it's got a bright future ahead. I also believe there's talks for season, of a season three of this in the, as well. But again, I don't really want to talk about rumors. So yeah, Slime Isakai. Fantastic. If you like Yuri Sakai, hell yeah, you've probably already seen this. If you don't and you're a bit apprehensive, this is a good one. It's a fun time all around. That's that's all I really gotta say. Moving on to something I didn't watch because I haven't watched the first season. Doctor Stone. Like I said, I haven't watched season one. Um What can I say? I, I just haven't I don't have a reason why I haven't. I do plan to at some point down the line get around to it. It's just that, as things stand, not right now. I'm sure that this was amazing. I've got a friend that's been watching it. He seems to be really enjoying it. So yeah, if you like Dr. Stone, you probably watch this or will watch it now that it's finished. And I hope you enjoy. I'm sure it's great. Moving on to yet another Isekai. Hmm. ReZero Season 2, Part 2. Holy fuck. Damn, it hit. Season 2 hit hard, boys. But y'all probably knew that. Because a lot of you have probably watched this. Since ReZero is huge. At least now. I don't believe it was when Season 1 had, which is strange. But yeah, Season 2, this was amazing. Absolutely loved it. The development with Amelia, in, especially in the second part, was fantastic. Same with Betty. I, I don't want to spoil anything. Just watch it if you haven't already. Brilliant stuff. Moving on to another fantastic anime. I see a running trend, at least for now. Horimiya. Look. It's so wholesome, boys. It's probably my favorite romance anime there is. And that's saying a lot. I've watched quite a few. And this hits so good. I mean, I've read a bit of the manga, and the anime, while not being a completely one-to-one -one, um, adaptation of the manga like Jujutsu Kaisen, it's still done really well. Cloverworks behind the animation, it looks beautiful. The character design is on point. It's like, oh, it's so good. I, I really struggle to put into words what's so good, at least without thinking about it and planning it in advance. I do struggle to put into words what's so great about Horimiya other than it's just good. It's warm, it's wholesome, and yet it's still somehow so deep and hits so hard and close to home. I love, love Horimiya, and I recommend you watch it as well. Moving on to something else I didn't watch this season. Promise Neverland Season 2, and I've heard bad things about this, although it's still got a pretty decent rating, at least over here. Um, I didn't watch Season 1, I probably will, again by Cloverworks, I probably will, um, whether that's sometime soon or or not, I don't know, but I'll probably get around to watching this. At the very least, I will definitely read it, because I'm really interested in reading this manga, but the anime is a bit of a 50-50, especially with how uh, the second season kind of took the source material and went, yeah, you're there, you know, we you're there, we'll pay some attention to you, I guess. Yeah, pacing? What's that? Yeah, I've not heard fantastic things about the how things have been with the second season of this show, but I'm sure it's still good. I haven't, like I said, I haven't watched it, so I can't really say too much. But yeah, that's that. Oh boy. Yeah. This. Redo of a healer. Uh... Yeah, mm. I mean, I guess it's spicy. It's it's very very edgy, and I can't say I hate watching it because it's awful, and uh, I get a good laugh out of it. But uh, yeah, if you like watching bad anime and have some alcohol on hand and some friends, that second one might be a bit difficult because you're a weeb and also we're in a, you know coming off of a global pandemic but yeah redo of a healer uh 
Uh, I don't have much good to say, or any good, so let's move on. Uh, quintessential Quintuplet Season 2, or Double Integration. Wow. Math. <laughs> yeah, um, I've read all of the manga for Quintessential Quintuplets, and I haven't gotten around to watching Season 2 of the anime. I've watched Season 1, loved it, it's what made me pick up the manga, and I loved the manga. Although I was a bit disappointed with the ending... But for those of you anime onlys or people that haven't caught up with the manga, I shall leave you in the dark as to why. But yeah, um, it's just good. It's really good. It's the harem format done almost perfectly, I'd say. There's no ability to just shoehorn in new girls to appease more people with tropes and bullshit. It's, it's just good. Like, it's really good. I got nothing bad to say it well. I don't have nothing bad to say about it, but I have more good than bad. It's just pretty good. Although I can't tell you anything about season two other than it was done by a different studio this time and they were nerfed. They ain't as thick no more. <laughs> Important. But yeah, if you like season one, season two, it'll be right up your alley. Read the manga. Trust me. Oredake Hairu Kaishuki Dungeon. The hidden dungeon only I can enter. This is really, really, really mediocre. It's just another Echi Harem. Like, but with the twist of, he can edit skills and he's super OP. Oh wait, that last part's not unique. Except he's a massive pussy. Oh wait, that part's not unique either. Huh. He has next to no personnel. Oh wait, that's not unique either. Hmm. Moving on. I didn't watch this. I know nothing about it. I've heard no one say anything. So it's probably mediocre. If you watched it and can prove me wrong, go for it. But I didn't watch this. There you go. As I said in uh, my rundown for next season, I'm not watching, so I'm a spider, so what? Again, lovely grammar there. Um, so yeah, I don't really have much to say other than I think it's pretty good. I think it's been well received. So yeah, if you're watching it, tell me in the comments if it's good. Maybe I'll pick it up. Who knows? I probably won't. <laughs> At least for now. Yeah. Kemoro Jihem. Um, I liked it. I, well, I've liked what I've watched. I've only watched the first nine episodes as of now. I do plan to finish it. I really do. I don't want to have another Fire Force situation where I leave it three episodes from the end for four to five months. I don't think it's been that long since it finished, so about two, three months hyperbole. But yeah, it's been a long time. I don't want to have this happen to Komodo Jihen because it's actually enjoyable. I've enjoyed both watched. I don't think it's done anything uh, very, like, standout. It's nothing crazy unique. But it's it's enjoyable. And, I mean, if a show's enjoyable, that's good enough, right? As long as a show doesn't bore you, it's not terrible. Right? I probably shouldn't say that, given my stance on some shows. But yeah. I'll do something I do love. Log Horizon Season 3, and Taku Hokai. Hell yeah, this has hit real good. This has been so good. Honestly. And also, we got a new OP this time. Not this in a database. Um, it's a good song, but different by Bandmade. Hits. <laughs> different. Isn't that funny? Uh, yeah. Look, watch Log Horizon. If you liked SAO, seek help. I mean... You'll like Log Horizon 2. It's better in pretty much every way except animation. That's probably the only sad part. But yeah, Log Horizon's incredible. I really love it. I really recommend you check it out if you like the video game genre. Really good. Hits. Hits. Good. See? I didn't say different. Uh, Jaku Kara Tomozaki-kun. This just finished today. I'm not long off of watching the last episode. And all in all... It wasn't like this crazy good, like, yeah, 8 out of 10. Better than what people, for some reason, consider average. Even though 7 is far from average. A 5 is what's supposed to be average. I'm saying too much. Yeah, I'd give the show about a 6. I don't know why this is the only one that I'm giving a rating to. But hey, here we are. I didn't dislike it. Everything I watched was enjoyable. If it got a second season, hey, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, and I'd probably watch it. But do I think it's like needing a second season or deserves one uh that's up to, that's up for debate although 
I'll be honest, I did quite enjoy the themes it tackled in the last couple episodes. It handled them very differently to how I've seen them handled before, but nonetheless, I enjoyed it. So, while everything up to the end was mediocre to just a bit above average, the ending made up, the last couple episodes made up for that. So, you know what? Even though you, as I have said, how many times have I said that this is average? Yeah. The, the incel survival guide to life and uh, how to get good at Smash, I mean, <clears throat> not Smash, uh, guide is an alright anime. Yeah. Moving on. Wonder Egg Priority. Um, I've watched two episodes. It makes me think too hard to watch it every week. I need to be in the right mood for this. But what I've watched was really good. Like, yo, this was really good. This was. The two episodes I've watched were really good. If you like your psychological stuff, you'll love this. It hits real hard. Hits deep. It's good. I, I've just got to be in the right mood to watch it. I'm not how I used to be where I could sit down and watch anything mindlessly for four hours and binge a season. But yeah, this is really good. Um, it also looks pretty. Yeah, but I, don't, I, I can't really say much because I've not watched enough. But what I have watched is enjoyable. It cycle, it's, um, tackles themes, sometimes unsubtly with the Ceno Evils. But yeah, watch it. If this is your type of thing. Because I'll be honest, the psychological like deal isn't everybody's thing. But if it is, you will really, really like this. Skate the Infinite was a show I was planning to watch and then didn't. Maybe I'll watch it in the, in the near future when it finishes. Uh, done my bones. And it definitely looks pretty from the clips I've seen. So yeah. I say so yeah as if I've got a follow-up point. Oh, don't. Moving on. Uh, Sales at Work Season 2. Didn't watch Season 1. Sales at Work Black. Haven't watched. I've got a friend that has. He says it's 8. So it's probably decent. Watch it if you liked Sales at Work. Same with Season 2. If you liked it, liked it, liked Season 1, you're probably watching this anyway. But if you didn't, I haven't watched Season 1, so I can't really recommend it to you. Yeah. Beastars. I'm impartial on Beastars. Haha, <laughs> furry jokes or something. Yeah. I'm I've heard that it's really good. I've heard the manga's fantastic, but I haven't got around to watching it. I've watched like the first five ish episodes of season one and I just haven't got around to watching the rest of it. Uh yeah. That's about all I've got to say for B Stars. It I'm sure it's good. I just haven't got around to watching it. Higarashi, uh the remake this is getting, I believe, a second season. The remake is later this either later this year or it hasn't got a release date announced. I can't quite remember. I plan to finish this. I've watched the first nine episodes. I've really, really enjoyed what I've watched. One really cool thing about it is if you did watch the original Higurashi, I'm pretty sure they got the original voice cast back to do uh, the remake. Or I say remake, pseudo remake, pseudo side story type deal. I enjoyed what I've watched. It is what I watched was really good. Might take you yeah, get a you know take you a bit to wrap your head around, but it's good. I didn't watch Eurocamp season one or two because why would I watch season two if I hadn't watched season one? It, yeah, World Trigger. I've watched the first nine episodes of the seventy-seven, seventy-seven, seven, the seventy-seven uh, episodes of season one, and it's like it's. Mm, uh, I've not disliked what I've watched, but I've not like exceptionally enjoyed it. So I probably won't get around to watching the second season, even after it finishes. But if you're a World Trigger fan, you're probably really happy to see more of it adapted. We're happy to see more of it adapted. I forgot what I said. Yeah. I also didn't watch this. Uh, Shoujo Eye stuff isn't really my deal, but if it is yours, you probably really enjoyed this because I've heard that it was really good. I think... It was at least decent. Yeah. King's Raid mobile game adaptation into an anime. Moving on. Uh, Yasha Hime continued as well this season. Um, I didn't watch Inuyasha. Because um, I've not got time to sink my teeth into it. 
so I haven't watched uh, Yashihime. But if you're an Inuyasha fan, you most certainly enjoyed this, probably. I don't know, I've heard nothing about it. So it could have been a complete failure of a successor. Hmm. Um, 2.43, 2.43. Again, I haven't seen any of this. I've heard nothing about it. I feel bad for it, given that, you know, Haikyuu exists. So anything that's volleyball related has a huge hurdle to get over. The bar has been set high. But it also means that the volleyball genre has a big fan base. So it might have gotten a lot of people's attention, but I don't know whether it hit or not. Yeah. Same with Hortensia Saga. I know absolutely nothing about it. Uh, same with Kaibyo Ramane. I didn't watch much this season, aside from like the big stuff uh, uh, that was up there at the top earlier on. Um, I did watch Back Arrow, some of it, as I mentioned in the March rundown. March rundown? The spring rundown? Uh, um, yeah. I need to watch more of it. I'm not watching enough. Uh, Nonobiori, I believe this is season three. If I used my eyes, I would have seen that it was season three. I haven't watched season one or two. Yeah. Fucking X arm. Oh boy, the um, ad adaptation. The production disaster. You've probably heard countless people talk about how appallingly bad X arm is. Because, good. God, is it bad. Like, oh no. When you get a team together to make an anime, don't get people that have never worked in anime before. At least have more than like one person on your team be experienced. Come on. I feel bad for the original manga and its author. Like, oh. God. Hexarm. Oh no. Um, yeah, and that's about all I can say for the winter 21, 20, 21, 20, 20, 21, 21, 21, 21, The 2021 season, I had like a mind break there. That's a tag. Don't take that out of context. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I've been Animosity. You've been you. And I hope to catch you all next time for, again, Maybe it'll be the Mushoku Tensai video, given that I've got that in the works right now. But either way, I hope to catch you all next time. Ta-ta for now.